In this video, we are going to look at how to convert from a measurement in the US customary system to a measurement in the metric system. All right, here's our problem. If a horse weighs 1,125 pounds, what is the weight of the horse in milligrams? So the first thing you wanna think about is the unit that you're currently in and the unit that you need to convert to. So we are currently in the US system in pounds, okay? So we currently are measuring a horse in the US system and it weighs 1,125 pounds. Now, we want to convert that to a measurement in milligrams. And in the milligrams, that means we are going to the metric system, okay? So we're going from pounds in the US system to milligrams in the metric system. So you can see I have my conversion chart up here. So the first thing I need to do is go from the US system to the metric system. And then when I get in the metric system, I need to drill down to milligrams. So the first set of conversions I'm gonna use are the ones that get me from the US system to the metric system. So I'm currently in pounds. I just need to get over to the metric system, just somewhere in the metric system. So I can use these two conversion factors, and I don't need to use them both, I can just use one or the other. So I can go from the fact that um, 2.20 pounds is equal to one kilogram, or the fact that one pound is equal to 0.45 kilograms. I can use either one of those. It doesn't matter which one I use, okay? Um, I'm gonna use the top one, where we say one kilogram is equivalent to about 2.20 pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna write some steps down here that show us our path. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is going from pounds to kilograms. So that's what's gonna get me from the US system to the metric system. Then once I'm in the metric system in kilograms, I need to work my way down to milligrams. So now I'm going to come up here and just look at my metric conversions. So I can see that I can get myself from kilograms to grams, and then once I'm in grams, I can go to milligrams, okay? So once, I'm gonna come back down here with my steps, all right? Um, once I'm in kilograms, from there I can go to grams, and then once I'm in grams, I can work my way down to milligrams. So it's three steps. On the next slide, I'll show you how to condense it to two steps. But let's start setting up our conversion factors, okay? So I want to start with the 1,125 pounds for one horse. So that's my first um, fraction that I'm gonna set up. So 1,125 pounds for one horse. Now, I need to get myself from pounds over to kilograms. So I'm gonna use the 2.20 pounds to one kilogram. And the reason I put pounds in the denominator is so my common unit of pounds will divide out. All right, that will get me to kilograms. Now, I know that one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams, so that will get me to grams. And then I also know that one gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. So here's also something that you should think about. A milligram is a very small unit. Like say we had a teaspoon of sugar or a teaspoon of baking soda or something small like a grape or a pea, that might be something that we measure in milligrams. It's a very, very, very small unit. So we're measuring a large animal, such as a horse, in milligrams. It's going to take a whole lot of milligrams to equal one horse. So what I'm getting at here is that you want to expect that the numerical value of your answer is going to be very, very large when we're done with 
it's going to be a lot bigger than the 1,125 for the pounds because a milligram is such a tiny unit. So it's going to take a whole lot of milligrams to equal a horse. All right. So let's talk about units next. So you can see that I can divide out common units. Pounds will divide out pounds. Kilograms will divide out kilograms. Grams will divide out grams, leaving me with milligrams at the end. So now all I have to do is multiply my numerators together and multiply my denominators. So in the numerator, I am going to multiply, let's start over. I am gonna multiply the 1,125 by the 1,000, by the 1000 and then in the denominator it's just the 2.20 because all the other things in the denominator are ones okay so now i'm going to multiply my numbers in my numerator so i'm going to multiply the 1125 times a thousand and then times a thousand again so be careful with all your zeros here so i have one one two, five, and it's gonna be followed by six zeros. And then that is gonna be divided by 2.20. And let's write down our final answer. I'll put the commas in in just a minute. So it's 511, three, six, three, six, three, six, point four. Is in milligrams okay so remember what I said expect a very 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 large number let's put the commas in 511 million three hundred sixty three thousand six hundred thirty six point four milligrams it's such a large number because the unit is so tiny it takes that many milligrams to make up the weight of a very large course. Okay, on the next slide, I talked about doing it in two steps. Okay, so one of the things that we can use here is the fact that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams and one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. So together we can take those two pieces of information and determine that one kilogram is actually equal to a million milligrams. So that'll save us a step when we're setting up our problem. So we still start with the 1,125 pounds over one. We still need to get ourselves to kilograms so one kilogram one kilogram is equal to the 2.20 pounds but then from kilograms we can go straight to milligrams so one kilogram is equal to one million milligrams. So then in your numerator, you're multiplying 1,125 by a million. And then you're going to divide that by 2.2. And you're going to get that same answer that we got the first time. And our answer is still in milligrams because our units still divide out. Pounds divide out pounds, kilograms divide out kilograms, and our final answer is in milligrams. So if we put our commas in, it is still 511,363,636.4 milligrams. So very big number because it's a very small unit.